God doesn't make a mistake. All relationships that come across you in your life, you meet this person, becomes your friend. God established them for a reason. Yes. We break the relationship against God's plan for our life. So there are people that we have kicked or they walk out of our life. It will affect both. Sometimes one will be more affected than one. Watch this. Jonathan's father is Saul. Saul is now the king of Israel. If Saul exit or die, Jonathan is the next of king. Now Saul had the woman singing that David has killed is 10,000. So to Saul, David is a threat to Jonathan's throne. But before all these things happen, God linked Jonathan in David's heart. The reason is because one day, Saul will try to kill you, David. But because of the link I've made between you and his son, the same man that wants to kill you, and the reason you want to kill you is because of the same guy that have linked your heart. He will be the contact for your defense. So watch this. There were several attempts that if Jonathan didn't intervene, David could have died. You remember the one that invited him to come and eat? And Saul said that when he come to sit in the dining room, why is he biting the chicken? I will pierce him. Then Jonathan did a test and told David that, no, don't come. My father really want to harm you. So watch this. In the camp of his enemy, God has established a friend. Now, assuming David one day got offended, he said, I don't need to get away from here. After all, what is it? Then it's going to affect him. Yeah. So sometimes pray that certain relationships are not destroyed. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't know the reason for the relationship. Yeah. The appointed reason for the relationship has not come. The Bible says there's even a, a, a friend that's still closer than a brother. So we break all this relationship sometimes and we do it through the weakness of our spirit. Because our spirit is weak, most relationship that has been destroyed is offense. Yeah. People get offended, they break relationship. There are people who walk out of a church, but their destiny is in that church. There are people who must also leave a church because their destiny is not there. But there are people who if you have to leave and still establish a relationship, there is a reason this person is your friend. All the people that are walking around me, there is a reason I know. I cannot define it, but God knows where he's going. You cannot just wake up and destroy relationship because you are offended. There are even guys that God is going to bring in your life. Huh? Some of your former boyfriends, there is a reason. There is a reason. Look at somebody and say, don't walk out of me. There is a reason I'm sitting by you. There is a reason you are my wife. There is a reason you are my husband. There is a reason I'm your father. There is a reason you are my son. All this relationship, cousins, brothers, church. If your spirit man is weak, you would destroy. I'm telling you today, God showed me something. He said that we have destroyed God's plan than the devil. We men, we have messed God's plan more than the devil. Some people, eh, the reason they broke through is because they walk into this church. They came to meet somebody somewhere. The person knows another person. Another person knows another person. Another person recommended you. God, God doesn't establish relationship for nothing. Do you know why Jesus called Judas friend? When he was about to betray me, he said, friend. Friend. Because if you don't betray me, <laughs> I will not sit in heavenly places. I must go to the cross, but I need somebody just walk up and break just relationship and walk up because you're offended you have interrupted with God's plan David if it's not Jonathan Saul could have killed David even Saul's daughter Micaiah there was a race he became David's wife if it's not because of him David could have died so there are people in your life eh, if they don't come you will die they have to come to your life to save your life there is no relationship on earth that will not be tested whether it's brother, sister, husband, wife, son, father, father, son. Every relationship will be tested. The strength of the relationship is determined by the level of the test that is packaged for it. And where it's going. So the fact that we fought that show me the relationship should part. We are only learning one another's weakness. I'm just learning that you, you I didn't know you get offended with things like this. And you also didn't know I get offended with things like this. And we are all offended. But that's not me should part the relationship. So you don't just knock relationship. It seems that your spirit is weak. The spirit forgives. It is not possible to live on earth and somebody will not offend you. Then you are not a human being. It's not possible. It can be husband, wife, pastor. I don't know how many people have offended. And even the one I'm offending now. And the one I'm offending. It is serious to walk around and tell people. Because they are very unpredictable. Yeah. When people carry anointing, they cannot be predicted. Jesus can tell you, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. Peter was walking, Chegu, on this rock, I will build my church. The gate of hell cannot prevail. Peter, the next time he said, get behind me, Satan. 
it has quashed all the first exhortation. Now, in the midst of the apostle, you say you are Satan. It's not possible to walk around somebody who will not offend you. They are doing their job. That is why I told you that it is not them, it's the devil. When you cross the natural and get to the supernatural, there are two kingdoms. There's light and darkness. There is God and Satan. Huh? Both of them are interested in what is happening on earth. None of them cannot do anything on earth without a human contact. So, God is looking for people to use. The devil is looking for people to use. Whichever one you have, they will use you. So the devil can wake up and say, okay, I want to deal with Pastor Abed. Because sometimes Satan deals with people based on their future, yeah. where they are going. Yeah. But because he is, a, he is a disembodied being and doesn't have a body, how do I deal with him? Let me use Pastor Elijah. If Pastor Elijah avails himself, then he uses him against him. So if Pastor Abed is not smart and the spirit is weak, he is going to hate Pastor Elijah instead of hating what is he's using him. So listen. The smartest people that don't get offended is that they rebuke what is trying to use you. Yeah.